is not posh. She's posh. She's not posh. She has horses. Now, right. <laughs> she says that she is <laughs> a certain age that I, no. I'm about to... 26. But she also says she lived in New York for six years. Yeah. And she come home because she wanted a horse. Now, first of all, why can't you have a horse in New York? You We've seen that in- episode of Seinfeld where <laughs> Kramer rides a horse around the town. <laughs> Can't be done. You've lived in New York. Have you ever seen a horse there? Uh, yeah, a horse-drawn carriage. Okay. So, what's the problem? Oh, what, like for a funeral? But she lives in Kent now, so I suppose there's more room. But she says you don't have to be rich to have a horse. But what sort of quality horse are you going to get if you're poor? I'm Scabby horse. Could be violent. <laughs> But she's also going on about being posh. She didn't even sound that posh to me. And also, if we're going to have a posher in there, I want, like, a, a man. I don't want a woman. The trouble is, I think the, the situation these people are in is that you say on your VT how you're going to get... You say whatever it takes to get on the show. Whatever they're looking mm. for, you fulfil that archetype. And then once you're in there, you have to keep it up to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. So it's difficult, isn't it? It is a bit. So then next in is Jason. He's a stunt double... Oh, and now he's... Co- go on, do Who's he double for? I'll bet you... No, he wouldn't double for Vinnie Jones because Vinnie Jones virtually is a double anyway. Um, I don't I know. Put, he's, uh, t- he's been in spe- Spectra. <laughs> hit film Spectra. Isn't he like a neck double? <laughs> yeah, they use his neck, his butt or something. <laughs> I said he sounded like Terry Tibbs. Um, and what else? Mm, he's crap. There's nothing really sad about him. He's boring. He had a shih tzu. But didn't he wonder, like, uh, why am I talking for about, like, 20 <laughs> minutes about my ex yeah. on my VT? No, he didn't wonder because he's sick to wonder that. Well, if you say so, but I think otherwise. Next in, brap, it's a council estate boy, Jackson, who he grew up on a council estate where he had to rob milk, Cravendale or Goldtop. Um, he likes a cup of tea and a fag. Right. He said he respects women, again... But he is the anti-man. Is he the anti-man? Well, he is the anti- like the anti-Christ. He's like, or... all these guys who come in here, they're like on about shagging birds and blah, blah, blah. I'm not like that. I put pussy on a pedestal, but I'm the anti-man. This is like mixed messages. Can you like uh, unravel this like Jeremy Kyle would? No, but I can think of two possible things here. Either mm-hmm. he is... Uh, oh, hang on, I've forgotten. Either he is, um, he's like deranged. He's like a wife beater because those guys that are like, oh, you know, put you on a pedestal, this sort of thing. Oh yeah, you're right. You Push know, your buttons. They always yeah. end up killing you. It's always, the, <laughs> always the way. Either that treat you like a princess, or he's open to the point of being, you know, virtually wide open. Well, didn't he say a vagina is like an apple? What is like an apple? With like a, an apple. He doesn't like the, the skin. Sk- what skin? The skin on the apple. But it's still like skin on a vagina. What is it? What bit of a vag- what bit of a vagina is like an apple? I don't think he's ever seen a vagina. I think he's only seen cock. He slept with three hundred people. I'm calling it. He is a virgin. No vagina is like an apple. If it is, you should go and see a doctor. That ain't right. Maybe like. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let's not go down that way. But there's no skin on a vagina, right? Well, yeah, it's got skin on it. Whatever not like is. an apple, though. No, not like you don't peel it. Anyway, uh, mm. so what else did Jackson say? Oh, yeah. So, so he doesn't like apple skin, I think. is. So I liked it. Oh, it's one of those twatsy peels it off. I hate that. So he, I liked him, but then when he went in the house, he yeah. looked like he was like a, a dappy tribute act. He had sunglasses on. He had like a banana on. He looked like a right twat. He also looked a bit like abs. Swan apple. Oh, my God. There's a link there. But he also said his motto in life is fuck it. Can you get behind that? Behind that motto? Yeah. No, it's a terrible motto. But our motto is forget about it. Sometimes. Similar. Um, I like it. He was the best so far, which I think says a lot about the whole thing, really. You think he's the best? I thought he was. I think, well, mainly just because I thought he was nice looking, which admittedly is very shallow. Oh, he's very shallow. You're a very shallow person, aren't you? But the you thing can is- put my pussy on his <laughs> But just kidding. Just make sure you take the skin off first. <laughs> but personally, I think he's an arsehole. <laughs> Why? I don't know, I just don't like him. He gets on my nerves. Oh, jealous. So then <laughs> next to him was Chelsea. Oh, yeah. He is a London lad. A, what is he, a mini multi? <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's a typical boy done good story. He's come from South East London. 
Yeah. He's worth a few million quid. Yeah. You can blow 10 grand in three hours in mm-hmm. a nightclub. Now, how does that compare to... That's mm-hmm. more than oh. Marco Pierre White. <laughs> well, they should have a, like... Uh... But he says, should you be taking that much cocaine? I'm not so sure. <laughs> he, um, what else is he doing? He's there for the experience. He's got a Bentley. Right. Now, how much shrink he pays for that haircut? Uh, the haircut. Yeah, the haircut. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's obviously a wig, but <laughs> no. But I'm saying, if I had his appearance and I was bald as a cute, so so to speak, <laughs> I think as wigs go, I don't think that's a bad one. Hmm. He must be what? completely. I'm saying as wigs go, I think that one suits him quite well. <laughs> I do. I do think that. Look at him! That's like the worst hair ever. It is, but it's better than the no hair that he currently yeah. has. I liked his clothes that he was wearing. Like, it's kind of got like a 70s sort of pimp vibe. He's got like a Dexter Coe's dad sort of yeah, vibe I, going on. I put Jarvis Cocker, he's got like a Jarvis Cocker-esque sort of thing. People were saying Shabazz, and I kind of agree with that, or... Yeah, and whatever. So then, um, what else? That He was the last person in, oh, thank fuck for that. Um, so then, the next part was, they all had to stand behind a pod... What? Didn't you forget? Hey. Did we do the dominatrix? Yeah, oh, yeah we, we did. did. Right. I don't know. Really we talk more about it. She's her. boring. Oh, she's awful. So next, they all had to stand behind a podium saying whether you're like backstabber, yeah. game right. her. Now, what what, what's your strategy here? What do you do? Like, what's Just the... Just go for something innocuous like fence it. Uh... Well, you don't know why they're asking you to do it. Well, no, that's all. the thing, isn't it? Definitely don't pick sexy. <laughs> sexy... What would you go behind if you were there? Backstabber. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'd be like a neurotic or <laughs> like... Yeah, delusional. Like, yeah, attention seeker. Wanker. So then... Airtime thief. Big, then Big Brother was like, so-and-so has stood behind blah. So-and-so has stood... It's like, oh, shut the fuck up and get on with it. So, but they didn't. They didn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know we they had didn't. to cut to the war room yes. where they sat with some... Cheap ass well, fucking bolster wood <laughs> bullshit, uh, like cartoon characters. Dolly, yeah, like move them around like they're playing like a yeah, little. Yeah, they could have put like their faces on it or something. They might as well have got a bit of fruit and put a post it note on it, <laughs> to be honest. So they decided to target, of all fucking people, sexy. Why the fuck would you target sexy? You target game planner, you target intelligent. Because. The reason why mm-hmm. is that Andrew was mm-hmm. under... Yes, mm-hmm. that's right. Derek was under the mm-hmm. impression that if you take out all the hot women, mm-hmm. then the men uh, are going to be fighting over the remaining uh, women <laughs> and will cause them to cannibalise each other. I don't think that's true, though. I think that was his strategy. I could have that wrong. That's a weird strategy. Anyway, so Laura was nominated... She's the red-headed one. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and she had to nominate someone as well. Now, you now, said you thought that others should all be the only nominee. Nominators. Yeah, I think personally the twist would be better if the, another, the, the others, sorry. <laughs> and others. For such a crap name. The it's others. Shit. The others should decide mm-hmm. everyone that's up. Yeah, I agree. It's like when it's like, oh, it's just making the housemates turn on each other by nominating each other. And also it made no difference anyway because no one actually fucking left. But hang on, they put up this girl and the big brother comes on the tannoy and yeah. says, right, so you, now you have to nominate someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who did she pick? <laughs> How many black people in the house? <laughs> Every time. And Stan- a woman. Standard. You can't have a black woman on the block the first week. It's like fucking... Kismet, it's probably like in the contract. Toodles. No, she won't go. Uh, well, you like her, I like I her. I like her a but, lot. But, do you know what we <laughs> don't know? If it's a vote to evict or a vote to save. Normally on civilian, although this isn't really civilian, it's vote to evict. But I still don't think Letitia would go if it was those people that, which it isn't. Do you know what I mean? It'll no, be... I don't know what you mean because the rules have changed. <laughs> okay. What are the rules? We need the rule book. Can we get <clears> the rule book online? <clears throat> the rules can change at any... I think time. they are online, you know. Oh yeah, didn't we read them one? But it was an old copy. It was a Channel mm. Four copy. Remember? Well, that you know. was when they had rules. Um, so then, um, oh yeah, so and then Emma was like, "Oh, they're going, or are they? Whatever." So now on to Thursday. Huh? I noticed on Twitter. I know you don't go on Twitter, Mash. People were begging BBUK at BBUK. What well, begging think, Channel Five? Begging Channel Five for tweet uh, updates. I saw this on was, your. 
I not, saw I saw that I saw this in your in your blog. We've not we've gone past begging you, you for, expl- explain explain okay. like why it makes you so angry. Easily. We've gone past begging for live feed. Oh oh Ted, please can we have live feed? Please can we have live feed? Now we we're not even begging for that shit anymore. In fact, we were begging for some live feed earlier this week and someone was going to me, Oh, there's not live feed anymore. Get over it. I'm like, oh shut the fuck up. Anyway, we've gone past that point. We're now at the point where we're begging for Twitter updates from what's that cunt called? Ian Symes. Fucking, they've probably sat that poor cunt paying him twenty grand a fucking year or something. Now we're begging to go. Oh, Jackson is wearing a bandana. Uh, uh, fucking, I can't remember the name of anyone in the house. <laughs> Laura is on top of Marco. We're fucking begging these people to give us a tweet update. That is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I would never, ever follow that Twitter account, BBUK, ever um, in my life. Fuck them up the arse. Apparently, they're not even bothering bo- bo- to tweet what's going on in there. <laughs> Seriously. That's what I just said. <laughs> but the thing is, like, do you know what? I saw the job on um, uh, Endemol for yeah. being that person that does the live, live tweet. I can't remember, but it wasn't much. And Why isn't that person doing that job? Because I didn't apply for it. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so your o- fault. otherwise, it'd be a different story. Your fault. Yeah, but I didn't want to compromise my podcast, so there we anyway, go. Anyway, I don't want to compromise. That. It's tragic. So then, um. But, but hang on, what's more tragic? Someone asking for live tweets or someone asking for live feed? Both. Live tweets is like lower than the low. I'd rather fucking. Oh my god. But both are essentially like howling at the moon. There's no fucking point. Fucking desperate. Like, at least when we say about live feed, it's like a joke now. Do you know what I mean? It's like. <laughs> live feed on my fucking time hop I'm moaning about the live feed like four years ago like seriously get a grip yeah but hang on when mm-hmm. you go on the website mm-hmm. there's a section mm-hmm. that says live feed and you click on it and mm-hmm. it says <laughs> I know it says live feed is disabled <laughs> which gives you the <laughs> idea that it, if it can be disabled it can be enabled <laughs> uh, go we can have live feeds <laughs> there was some the other night it was crap <laughs> And we get some tonight as well. We get like what many, is it? Tw- Forty minutes of life in a week. I think they give you like a full sixty minutes. No, they do not. Well, it used to be twenty-two. <laughs> let's not let's not even give this the airtime. So then, um, it's bitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Then there was this whole bit. Oh, this is so crap. Oh, now what? With Sarah Harding, Charlie, and going on about she saw that Jason was in the main house. Oh, uh, and she's like, "Oh, he's my ex-boyfriend. I treated him badly." And she told him he was ugly. He needed <laughs> Botox. His jeans were shit. And what else? Something. I don't know. And then he was like, "Oh, I spent four and a half hundred quid on the nine jeans. months courting her. Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, nine months chasing her, and then five months trying to get rid of her. Now, surely <laughs> something <laughs> don't add up here. Hmm. Yeah." And then Andrew was like, let's get revenge on him, which I thought was quite good. Um, but then, mm. after all this is revealed, mm. they don't go after their... That, well, that's what makes no sense. Like, you've got a chance to evict anyone you like. And they're like, oh no, we want to be in the house, like, arguing with our exes. You've got a chance to evict your exes. Well, they haven't, but they thought they had. And you don't... It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense It makes no sense. You know, if you were in that situation mm. and you were in that other house and mm-hmm. you saw your ex was in there, mm-hmm. you know that if you got in that house, the, the whole reason for you to be on the show is for you to have your storyline about your ex. So you could go in and openly argue with them, but really they'd be your best ally. Oh, that's deep. That's how to play it, isn't it? You really have... To, you have to, like be really aggressive towards each other but mm-hmm. actually have each other's backs because it's the only person that you know from well allegedly from the outside Marco Pierre White seems to know everyone <laughs> oh how are you doing oh yeah he's like oh hey I know you from auditions probably half the cast woke up on his floor the day before <laughs> so talking with Marco he said to Evelyn do you like being choked and slapped around and she said and she said only what was it just, cho- just no she said I don't like too much slapping but the, <laughs> so the choking is alright that was on the first night they had that conversation terrible what? Channel 4 would not have stood for this <laughs> oh yeah what were you saying earlier that was quite good. oh yeah I was saying that on mm-hmm. Big Brother old, olden times <laughs> ye olde Big Brother yeah in the medi- medi- Arr, back when I in the war <laughs> they used to come into a flagon of mead they loved it so no but he used to take at least a couple of weeks if not more longer to generate a 
well, such lustful feelings, <laughs> and B, <laughs> fucking the arguments that they have. Now, literally, you turn it on night one, boom, you're straight in. They're going crazy. That's